So this first example, I will show running in software so you have a baseline to compare uh, the hardware simulation against. Uh, this, uh, the CPU on this uh, machine is a dual core hyper-threaded CPU, so you see four cores in the performance meter. So I'll run it, the simulation in software. Uh, the simulation has about 6,000 rigid body actors. Oops. Uh, in the simulation, um, falling down this hillside. And note that we're getting, you know, five to six frames per second of performance. And we're using nearly 100% of three of our hyperthroid cores on the processor. And then the other core is being used for rendering. So in this case, it's not a lot of uh, effort to render the scene, um, about 20%. Now remember, this simulation is like almost solely physics. Very little game code or anything like that. And also my, uh, my computer is complaining because the processor is getting very hot. So if I switch to use our physics card, see that we have a much more interactive frame rate. My computer is not complaining anymore. Uh, we see, again, 6,000 uh, rigid body actors being simulated at once. And the thing to note is that our processor usage is now zero for three of the cores because we're not doing any physics processing. And the other core is simply being used for rendering again. So this shows about how much processor use the hardware requires. Uh, it's just a few percent uh, to do updates 